So this is Henry Matisse, a copy of an art piece from a first grader. So Juan, who's in second grade now, drew this last year. And she used geometric shapes, such as the triangles, and organic shapes, such as the tree and the flowers. So we are going to make a still life painting using geometric and organic shapes with a table, a vase, and a window with some trees. Those are our goals for this project. You can put your paper vertically, which is an example is wands, or horizontally. An example is Tony's. So here's Tony. So vertical or horizontal, and you have to decide that right now. So if you hold it up and down, straight up and down, tall, that's vertical. If it's long, it's horizontal. I know, we're still recording. So I'm gonna do vertical. Mine is gonna be vertical. And I'm going to start with the table. So I'm going to start from one side of my paper. I'm going to start from the right side. You can start from the left if you would like. And I'm going to draw a curved line going across from one side to the other. It kind of looks like the shape of a rainbow. Or grass. Or grass. Are we going to make it in the middle? It's about, it's a little lower than middle, but yes, you can do, just like in the drawing of um, your practice, you can look at your practice drawing that I gave you guys from last week. You can start drawing. I would like if you draw along with me, it'll be easier. So go ahead and make your table line. Then I'm going to make, on my table, making a vase. So I'm going to make it towards the side because I know over here on this space I want my window. So I want to make sure I give myself enough space for the window. So my vase is going to be pretty big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two lines for the top of the vase, just like that. I just drew two lines for the sides of my vase at the top. Between those two lines, I'm going to draw an oval that connects them. So that's going to be the opening of my base. So I'll give you guys some time to do that. I did that already. Thank you guys for being so quiet. I guess you don't have to erase Of course not. You can decide what your vase shape is going to look like. If you think about some vases, I'm going to draw a few different options. So you could have it go up like that. Or you could have it go in like that. So there's different shapes that your vase can take. I'm going to make mine go up and down like that. And don't worry if you make mistakes. We can erase them later. I can pass out some erasers to you guys. Right. Brenna, I really like your vase, but let's make it much bigger. So you want your vase to take up a little bit more space. I just need a heart. Think about when you're painting me. The bigger you draw, the better, because when you paint, it's going to be hard to draw small, it's going to be hard to fill in small things. So think about when you're painting. Before I draw my flowers, I'm actually going to draw the fruit on the table for the still life. So 
in front of my vase, I'm gonna leave some space for my grapes. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna draw really, really softly. I'm gonna draw the shape of my grapes. It's gonna be like a triangle. So I'm just drawing the shape of them very softly. Then I'm gonna draw the stems and some leaves for the grapes. And if I ever overlap, I could always erase the other lines later. Inside this shape I drew, this triangle shape, I'm actually going to make tiny circles for my grapes. So I'm going to fill in that shape with lots of circles. So everything we're doing today is all about shape. So these are geometric shapes, they're circles. I'm doing the same thing as you. Good, you guys can do the same thing. You could also draw different fruit. If you love pears or apples or what other kind of fruits are there? Uh, oranges. Oranges. Bananas. Bananas, watermelon. There's tons of options. I want to make a watermelon. I want to make something fun. I want to make circles. It's called watermelon. Fruit cake. Mmm. So I'm following that triangle shape and I'm just doing my circles. If I want to have, maybe I'll have a few grapes that fell off on the side. Nope, you don't have to. You can draw whatever fruit you'd like. Then you can't make it. So can you make our Make your fruit right now. Next to my grapes, I'm going to draw a pear. You don't have to. You can draw whatever type of fruit you'd like. So pears, they start off round and then they get long and then they end round too. So you can draw a pear if you'd like. I'm also drawing an apple. So there's an apple shape if you need to look at what an apple shape is. I'm gonna make some seeds. It would be good if we made a like a crack like somebody bited it. <laughs> like it's been bitten? That's funny. You could do that. That's creative, Max. I want to make one of them that has a spike in it. Okay. 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 Now I'm done with my table. I've got my vase, my fruit. Somebody How many flowers do you guys want to have in your vase? I want three. Okay. I want then four. Do three. If you want four, do four. I want eight. If you want eight. Oh, eight is a lot, but you can do eight. Just make sure they're big because when you paint them, remember, it's hard to paint when it's small. Big. So I'm going to draw three big flowers in my vase. And they can be, some can be short, some can be tall, some can be medium size. Good, so remember, I'm giving husky heroes to people who've been quiet and working. Look at my flower. I want to just draw two. You could also draw leaves falling down to the side. I'm going to do this. Can I draw two? Because I got two. really big. See? Look at my flower. Look at my flower. Can you draw bigger, Brenna? Because remember what I said about how big it is, right? It has to be big enough to paint. I know, it is, because there's going to be different colors and different layers, and Good. different layers. So could I only make two? Yes, you can there. make two. Because they're very big, see? Yes, I see. But now you have a lot of wall space. You see all that wall space you have? So what I did was I drew the center of my flower, and now I'm going to draw the petals. You can draw the petals however you like. You can do them. Like oval, you could do them like that. Let me 
see how you drew yours. Okay, so Max drew his a little bit rounder like that. Look at mine. Look at mine. Did you show mine? They they have different layers and colors. Mine has different layers and colors. And lastly, we're going to draw our window with our tree in the background. So this is showing, there's a word that this is showing. If you remember it from the video, I will give you Husky Hero. He mentioned it in the video. It starts with an S. I know what it's Sky? No, it's not Sky. Brenna. It's the, um, um, no, it starts with an S. Yes. Symmetrical's a, symmetrical's a good guess, but it's not symmetrical. Yes. Shape? Shape is really good. So shape is one of the words. Color was our second word, but there's a third word. Shape, color, and... Size. No, it's not size. Shape, color, and... Yes, Gia. Space. space. Very good, Gia. She got Shape, hero. color, and space. There you go. Good job. Good memory. Three people are husky heroes. Good. So, when you're showing space in an image, the smaller it is, remember we learned about this with Grandma Moses, the smaller it is from the front, how is it bigger or smaller? I mean, the farther it is, is it bigger or smaller? Think about it. When you're looking at something from far away, is it bigger or smaller? Big. S small. Small. Good, I'm Tristan. It a square. It's smaller. So our tree is actually going to be smaller than some of our flowers. So we can first draw the window and then draw some grass. And in the back, even though we know trees are much taller than flowers, the flowers are in the foreground and the trees are in the background. Thank you. Do you guys want to see how I draw trees? First thing is you draw two lines for the tree stump. Then in the middle of those two lines you draw a V like that. And that V is going to be the start of your branches. So every time you draw another V that's going to be where the branches break off. So now the branches go like this. And let's say I want another V. And now the branches go this way. And if I want another V, now the branches go in a different direction. So you can draw as many branches as you want. I want to make some leaves. Good. And then around that, you can draw the leaf or the leaves. You can draw some flowers because it's going to be springtime soon. Awesome. That's going to be such and, a good birthday. And then in April, it's going to, Shuib's coming back from India. So. Oh, good. We missed him, didn't April. we? April 14th is my birthday. Once you have all of these items drawn, you have your vase, the flowers, your still life, your window, and your tree. We're going to draw, just like we did in our practice, we're going to draw shapes. So we can do triangles, we can do we can do line work, we can do squiggly lines, this we is can I know it's a really long video. I might have to make it shorter. But just for now we're gonna keep going so we can draw our shapes. So let's say you wanted to do vertical lines. I'm just making up some ideas. And I did some wavy vertical lines. And then maybe I'll do some circles inside those squiggly lines. 
and you can do whatever. You don't have to do the same thing as I do. And then maybe over here, I want to do triangles. Um, excuse me. Um, could I make um waves and then put a symmetrical mermaid in Like with a circle head, a triangle fin. Yeah. Oh, yay! I want to make a mermaid. I'll put some triangles over here. What other shapes should we use, guys? Uh, squares? Sure, why not? So let's do... I'm going to do some squares on my table. I'm going to do a bunch of squares on my table. And maybe I'll do some rectangles. I'm not that good at rectangles. Is a rectangle geometric or is it organic? Rectangle. I don't know. Max, what do you think? Uh, organic. Well, is it like a square? Kinda. Kinda like a square. Is a square geometric? Yeah. Yeah, so I think a rectangle is also geometric. What about the leaf of a flower? Is it is it geometric or organic? Um, the leaf of a flower. Good, organic. Another good answer, Gia. Look at my so I'm filling my entire paper with shapes. And we can do some decorations on the vase too. So maybe I'll do... Um, what kind of shapes can we put on our vase? Uh, Circles. Is it okay if it goes over the flowers Circle. and the windows? Is it okay yes. if it goes... Yes, it is. We probably won't start painting today. We have to outline everything we did in black marker. Well, that's not what the big two Yes. Yes. And now we have to paint and outline with black marker.